In this video, I want to show how I constructed a uh, homemade CB antenna. It is a dipole uh, Yagi beam antenna. It has two elements. It has a driven element, and then it has a reflector element there in the back. Now let me show you. The reflector element is all the way in the back there, and we'll take a closer look moment the driven element is over here in the front the connection so let's go take a look at the reflector there's the reflector it's aluminum tubing uh, a couple of different sizes um, i've got a external pipe here this one is seven eighths in diameter then I've got a connection here. This is a three quarters in diameter of this pipe. This pipe is six feet long. However, the part from here to here is 23 inches. And this element here, this piece of pipe and this piece of pipe here, they are separate pipes. They're about 94 inches a piece. And here's an example of how I connected it. You kind of just made a couple of slots there. It looks like this. This is 7 eighths diameter. Here's another example pipe. This one is uh, 3 quarters. Put that in there. And that's kind of what it looks like. So again, this is 94 inches. 23 inches from here to here. 94 inches here. This pipe is six feet. There's from here, there's about two feet of it that's going into this pipe. And then the same thing on the other side, two feet going into that pipe. So the reflector is level. You can see. And the boom is also level, which is over here. I'll show you that. Uh, these are just some wooden shelves I made. Um, the antenna is really just resting on there. Uh, this is painter's tape. It's an indoor antenna, so I'm not worried about making this weatherproof, this antenna. That's the reflector. That's the boom. Let's go take a look at the driven element over here. The driven element on the end has a place where you can tune it. Same thing, using two pipes, an inner pipe and an outer pipe. There's your adjustments. Whatever adjustments you do on one end, you do on the other end. The driven element is also on the shelf here. It's just resting on this screw. The other side has one as well. Forgive my labored breathing, I'm in the attic, so it is a little bit challenging be crouching down so here's the connection this wire is 16 gauge I believe lamp cord wire the distance between these two pipes is about one inch and one eighth and again the other side of the of the driven element also has a place where you can adjust it right there and let me just back up so you can have a view of it everything is level the driven element is also level so if I go like this in theory these pipes should all line up so there you have it, my homemade dipole Yagi beam antenna, two elements. In the description field, I'll put some more details on measurements and whatnot. Thank you for watching.